We've got a great story, you guys. A good Samaritan who took a chance on a guy who had fallen on some hard times, and the unlikely partnership is about to pay off. NBC's Craig Melvin has this story. Craig, good morning to you. Savannah, good morning to you. Coding, of course, is the complex language of computers. Those who master it create software, they create websites and apps. Learning it is hard, very hard. So imagine doing it while homeless. Leo Grand lives on the New York City streets. Patrick McConlog walks to work. One day, the software engineer stopped. I just asked him a question. Would you like an offer? A hundred dollars. You know, I'm a young guy, I'm starting out, I'm like, that's a lot of dinners. A hundred dollars or a laptop and learn how to code. I will spend an hour a day for two months. Came to an immediate decision. The hundred dollars will last you for a short time. Learning how to code will last you for a lifetime. So Patrick bought Leo a laptop, three textbooks, and got started. So just tap there. The 23-year-old who learned the language of computers as a child spends an hour before work every morning teaching it to a 37-year-old who says he lost his job, then his place. They were building really expensive condominiums, and so the rent just shot up and I was evicted. For two years, he's been sleeping in shelters and finding spots to hang out during the day. The lifelong computer lover has a favorite. I spent most of my time at the Apple store, so I was always on the computers. And then we're loading it into the script. The speed at which I'm going through these lessons is insane. We barely cover things twice. His memory is, is really good. After their daily session in the park, Leo puts in another six hours by himself, studying. It's... Not a walk in the park. Right. No pun intended. The JavaScript language is difficult and tricky. But he's getting it. The lessons are going so well, Leo is close to unveiling a free app designed to promote carpooling. I want people to use this application and become more knowledgeable and aware of global warming. An upcoming product launch and a fan page. Nearly 40,000 on Facebook follow his progress and cheer him on. He hopes to land a job soon and a place to live. But for Leo Grand, this is also about shattering stereotypes. All homeless people are mentally ill, lazy, unintelligent. That's a stigma. It's not a friend. It doesn't really matter your living arrangements. As long as you've got the mindset to do it and the will to drive. You give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, you teach a man to fish, and you watch him change the world. And Leo's carpooling app is going to be launched in just a few weeks. That's really cool. We've got Patrick McConlog here and Leo Grand with us. Good morning, guys. Great to morning, see you. Morning. Can you believe all the attention this has gotten? No. <laughs> is it shocking, Leo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you think when somebody comes up, a total stranger, and says, I'm willing to spend this time with you and teach you to code. Was it kind of a no-brainer? You knew what you wanted to do? Yeah, yeah, instantly. Was it instant, though? I mean, was there, was there not a split second where you thought, this guy's nuts? Sh should I step out? <laughs> <laughs> I was skeptical at first. But I said, uh, just give it a shot and see what happens. And Patrick, there must have been something about Leo that caught your eye, that made you think, there's more to this person than what I'm seeing when I just pass by in the morning on my way to work. I, I, you can tell sometimes. There's just something, something special about somebody. Yeah. And, I mean, he's been amazing through well, this. Leo, you have this app that you are very close to being done with. Yeah. If you could speak to all the potential employers out there, what would you want to say about what you've learned and what you're capable of? I know how to build a server and... I understand most of the languages in uh, computer language, uh, tech language, and I'm good at, or oh, I'm learning to be good at back-end design. And you're also excellent at, at staying on task. I mean, you spend five, six hours a day yeah. focused on one project. Yeah, yep, basically. And, and yep. Does it, you, don't, you don't have a permanent place to live yet, do you? Um, I'm kind of staying with a friend. Good. Good. Well, I hope this is the beginning of great things. Thank you. Your teacher says you're kind of brilliant, almost a photographic memory. Dad, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. And he's humble, too. <laughs> What's the name of the app? 
Trees for cars. Trees for cars. All right, cool. Patrick McConlog and Leo Grant, it's a pleasure to meet both of you. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Thank you. All right. And that's